disturbed and cold-blooded him and he's ruthless, speaks little, lacks emotions, and follows his principles with a firearm in hand, smiling as he eliminates his targets. However, in a world where there is always someone more formidable, the appearance of a hunter will mark a significant turning point in his career. Anton was just assigned to this area by his boss when he was arrested by the police. He was walking along the highway with a trachea in hand, appearing extremely bizarre, while the police were reporting the incident to their superiors over the phone. Anton silently maneuvered the handcuffs to the front of his body. From behind, he seized the police officer's neck, allowing the officers to struggle in vain. Anton, with gritted teeth and intense eyes, paid no attention to the officer's futile attempts to break free. As the blood sprayed from the police, officer's severed carotid artery. Anton disdainfully turned his head in another direction, leaving the police officers lifeless. Returning home in the evening, the hunter lay in bed, unable to find peace. He thought about the driver he had encountered earlier and felt a twinge of guilt. Determined to ease his conscience, he decided to go and deliver water to the man. However, as he approached, he sensed something was amiss. Turning around, he noticed a group of unfamiliar individuals suddenly appearing near his car. Quickly ducking behind the vehicle, the hunter was still discovered by one of the henchmen of the mob boss. Sensing danger, the hunter swiftly fled. After being shot, he decisively jumped into the river, followed closely by a hunting dog. The hunter dared not linger and quickly climbed ashore, drawing his weapon just in time for a showdown. With split-second precision, he managed to shoot the dog, narrowly escaping a fatal encounter. On the other side, to recover a box of us dollars, the mob boss hired another cold-blooded hitman. A henchman handed Anton a receiver, explaining that there was a transmitter hidden inside the box, and the closer they got, the more urgent the sound would become, seemingly understanding the implications. Anton promptly killed the two henchmen on the spot. Apparently, he preferred whatever was inside the box to the $20.000 reward. A man stood at the door, effortlessly unlocking it, turning on the lights, and acting swiftly. Two shots quickly took care of the screaming fat man. Anton retreated to steps, closed the door, and heard a noise from the bathroom. He fired a shot, opened the door, and saw a hand in the mirror. The man raised his hands, pleading for mercy. Anton pulled the shower curtain, firing another shot. Meanwhile, the hunter discovered a hidden mechanism inside the stack of money. As he unfolded it, he found a tracking device. Realizing the danger, he grabbed his gun, crouched down, and turned off the lights. Soon after, a figure stopped at the door. The hunter opened the safety and, with the lights off, the hunter realized he was facing a formidable opponent. Suddenly, the door lock was forcefully opened, and the hunter quickly fired a shot toward the entrance, before making a run for the window. The hunter tossed the money out of the window and then jumped out himself. Back at the hotel, the reception was deserted, and he managed to escape through the back door. Though he was shot once, he got into a car, preparing to flee the scene. Hiding behind the car, the hunter saw Anton through the rearview mirror. Suddenly, he stood up, firing a shot that narrowly missed Anton, who hastily leaped aside. Despite no one being visible behind the car, it was evident that the hitman had sustained a serious injury. The man before him, with flowing long hair and a gentle smile, crap. Will you hold still, please? As the ear gun, the elderly man in front of him fell dead on the spot, a victim to the ear gun. Meanwhile, the hunter found a hospital to recover from his injuries, and Anton, too, took a bullet. Anton located a car on the roadside, opened the fuel tank cap, stuffed it with cotton, and then set it ablaze. Nonchalantly, he walked into a pharmacy. As the explosion resounded, attracting the attention of onlookers, Anton seized the opportunity to plunder some medicines. Back at his residence, he immersed his injured leg in the bathtub, cleaned the wound with disinfectant, administered an anesthetic injection, and finally skillfully stitched the wound. From Anton's adept movements, it was evident that this was not his first time performing such a procedure. Anton opened the door, glanced at his shoes to ensure they weren't stained with blood. Expressionless, he drove away, carefully observing traffic signals. A hitman who strictly adhered to principles found himself critically injured by an unknown young man who ran a red light. He stumbled toward the roadside, inspecting his arm with exposed bones. Anton bought the young man's shirt, used it as a makeshift sling for his arm, and limped away from the scene before the police arrived. 